With many students being out this week for spring break, some may be wondering where their next meal will come from. That's why Second Harvest Food Bank is teaming up with One Heart for Women and Children to get results for hundreds of families. News 6's Emily McLeod explains how they're helping to fill the meal gap. More of uh, my tears are more for people that's in this line because it's sad. Because look at all the people all the way down. It's, I'm here at seven. Imagine how long they've been in line, the ones that's in front of me. Shirley Boone, along with the hundreds of cars you see here, lined up early Wednesday morning for a food giveaway with Second Harvest and One Heart. Boone recently lost her job, and while she needs the help, she's going to take what she gets and give it to her five grandkids, along with other neighbors on her block. You know, I call people over and I tell them I got food. Would you like it? They look at me strange, but then I tell them I just came from the food bank and they'll take it. The demand for the food that's being given away can be seen in the line right here behind me with some people getting here as early as four o'clock in the morning. So you have been here since before the sun came up this morning. Absolutely. 4 a.m. Correct. Director of Philanthropy with Second Harvest Food Bank, Dan Samuel, says Wednesday's food drive will also help kids out on spring break who depend on free or reduced school lunches for consistent meals. That's what today's about. Today's about putting food in the hands of those families so they can take care of their kids for this week long of spring break. And speaking of spring break. Yeah, it's a, it's a senior trip. The volunteers from Wednesday's food drive traveling all the way from Indiana to give back while on their senior trip. Orlando is not only a beautiful city, but it also is a lot of opportunities where we can get involved and really give back to a community that we wouldn't be able to otherwise. Wednesday's food drive is estimated to feed 400 families. In Orlando, Emily McLeod getting results, News 6.